I think the progress that has been done in, in finance in the last 20 years is to make a difference between what is alpha and what is beta and perhaps something which is in the middle, which is a performance which is explained by some factors, but not necessarily easy to implement, but at least that can be explained either momentum, either value, either uh, quality factors, etc., etc. So the development of these 20 last years with development of factors and small betas was to define a third avenue, which was not pure idiosyncratic risk, which was pure alpha, I would say, no pure beta, because it's not as easy to construct a momentum factor than to in invest in an index, but something in the middle, which we believe is still active management, but at least we understand uh, that there is a systematic premium attached to it that is least to a similar systematic risk. So it can be the low vol factor anomaly, it can be the momentum, it can be value, it can be, uh, even though value hasn't performed for the last 20 years, but all these factors that we've seen that systematically deliver a premium into to the market. So that has been a big difference and a big evolution that has put pressure on fees for active managers because there were some systematic strategies that could be launched that were uh, more make more value for money for the end client, typically alternative risk premium, et cetera, et cetera. How I see the world of asset management, I see there is a polarization be between the very big one uh, and obviously the, the, the trillion plus companies, uh, which will be one-stop shop global allocator that will propose everything to clients from, I don't know, high yield in Asia to a commodity in Latin America. And this is obviously not the place where managers like us will be. Look, we, decide, we define ourselves as specialist asset manager, which will be on the other spectrum that does a few things, but try to do them well and differently. The difference between today and 20 years ago is I would say that to be a specialist asset manager, you will need more assets under management than you would have had in the past. That's just true that there is more barrier to entry because there is more regulation, there is more demand for more clients to report, there is more spending that needs to be done in terms of research and technology. So I would say that the the cost to function and to evolve is becoming higher and higher in a period where it's true to say that revenues uh, to operate are becoming smaller and smaller. Uh, we were in, we had the chance to be in an industry where profitability is still quite strong, but obviously this is going down and therefore this is increasing the barrier to entry.